हेलो एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ अभिषेक बंसल वेलकम टू माई चैनल लर्न योर सेल्फ ईजी सोल्यूशन इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ ए एम डी जायलिंग जिंक अल्ट्रा नाइन्टी सिक्स वीटो माई फर्स्ट वीडियो इज ऑन द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर द सॉफ्टवेयर इज डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम ए एम डी डॉट कॉम एंड फ्रॉम डाउनलोड एंड सपोर्ट यू हैव टू क्लिक अंडर द टैब अडेप्टिव एसओ सी एंड एफ पी जी ए द सॉफ्टवेयर इज कम्प्लीटली फ्री प्रोडक्ट इंस्टॉलेशन दिस सॉफ्टवेयर वाई वाई आर इवन द पे रिक्वेस्ट फॉर द एलिमेंट फोर्टीन पार्क प्रोग्रामेबल थ्री डिजाइन चैलेंज वंस यू गो ऑन दिस पेज यू कैन सी दंडर दिस ए किट यू विल कम इन टू दिस पेज पार्क टू प्रोग्रामेबल थ्री एंड दिस आर द टू स्पॉन्सर्ड बोर्ड फ्रॉम द ए एम डी थ्रू द एलिमेंट फोर्टीन the mini z and the ultra 96 v2 as i would be using the board ultra 96 v2 my series name is ultra 96 v2 but both these softwares the yvido and the vitis are needed for this mini z and ultra 96 v2 the boards can be seen here aes mini z and ultra 96 v2 even in the training part if we enter in the ultra 96 v2 in and the in the software part we will see the uh, amd xilinx white is core development kit and the yvido ml edition similarly if you go if you are one is opting for the mini z the software part need the software needed is the same the ml kit and the yvido ml edition now once we if we go to the beta linux then also we will would we will would be needing the vitus core development kit ml edition so let's go to the software i would be installing the software the latest version 2.2023.1 and the full product installation the reason behind it is that it said here that the qor quality of result improvement in this edition is 8% for the virtual adaptive socs and the 13% for the ultra plus fpga similarly if i go in the vitis software there is an improvement in the software also there is basically they are saying that they have more filter configuration finite impulse response fir more filter configurations are there moreover there enhancement in the performance and if as i would be using the unified installer amd unified installer for the fpga and adaptive soc so it is you can see it is of the size 110.85 gb so those who are having the limited bandwidth problem they need to see that this unified is including both the windows and the linux so though <coughs> otherwise you can even use the web installer or maybe they are they have they may have given provided somewhere the separate installers so in this unified installer we will see it it will consist of yvido vitis even the power design manager and the peter linux all these are included in the this uh, unified installer once i have installed it in this and i have extracted it here even the extraction has taken 30 minutes so in the extraction we will see for the ubuntu there are two shell scripts given install libs.sh and the xsetup.sh so let's uh, let me first make uh, uh, give the verification which platform i am using so let's see you can see that scripter id is ubuntu the description is the ubuntu 22.04.2 long term support lts the release is 22.04 and the code name jemmy i also check the architecture version we can see the architecture is the is here the architecture is given here it's uh, the The, the machine on which it will be installed is also of the AMD 64 bit. Now let's verify the kernel name. The kernel uh, kernel Linux kernel that I have installed here on the Ubuntu is 5.19.0-41. The latest I think is 71 or 72, and even the 6 point version is also been released. As I would be using the PyNQ Python productivity for the Zinc platform later on. 
So let's check it whether I have the Python also or not and which version I'm using it. We can see, I, you can see that the Python is also installed 3.10.6 and I think the latest is 3.11 or 12 something like that. So let's go on the solution part. Let's go on the solution part here. First I give the permission here. Install libs. Similarly, I give the permission for the X setup because X setup would be the main file that we are using and I am executing it here. You will see it's first checking the information what are all the connectivities are there and then this uh, windows gets open. opening up actually you can see we have the installation setup windows open firstly it's checking up the whether it's the latest or which version is it's been installing you can see that it started in the 20 seconds internet connection it first checked so we have the unified installer here if we see in the pref you can see that the supported operating system for this is Red Hat Linux, CentOS, SUSE Linux, Amazon Linux, Ubuntu Linux. So we are having here in the preference the proxy setting, I am not changing it. This is a recommended core CPU. The disk users you must ensure it's bas basically on by default, the disk optimization because it's a big software. So we can see, we can proceed by it. And the other main thing that we need to understand the unified installer is that you can see it's why it is why wide labs also there lab addition as you can see here we have the labs also like if suppose I say the why wide you can see why wide lab solution so it also includes the why wide lab addition program power design manager and the beta Linux also. So the other thing is that you should know in this is that this YT software includes YWIDO in itself. It is basically the superset of the YWIDO. So let me first make you go through the YWIDO. You see in the YWIDO there are two set of provided standard and the enterprise. The standard is the limited version and it's a com full complete version ML enterprise. Once you go in the ML enterprise, you can see we are having in the design suit, it's a YWIDO, YTS HLS, YTS model composer and the doc nav. So this model composer is basically a toolbox for the MATLAB and the SAMU link. Okay. So as I am would be uh, installing the YTS and as I said, it's the YTS is the superset of the YWIDO only. We, you can see is that the YTS software itself includes YWIDO, YTS HLS, YTS model composer and the doc nav. It's also been mentioned here that it, this installation is a superset which includes the YWIDO design suit. In my first attempt actually I only selected the ultra scale plus board because I do not need the other platforms but it got stuck after 2 hours 45 minutes it got stuck in generating the device list for 8 hours. So and in the, my second time the video recording got crashed. So I would be recording it in the parts. For this third, this is, uh, this is a third attempt. I am installing at present all the boards only and I am still uh, disabling the this IP cache because it's a single user. And these are basically by default only. It's given by default only. I have even clicked the restore to defaults. The size is 209.35. Okay, so there's these are the end user license agreement for the YTS YWIDO, YTS this net P4 doc nav model composer. So let's uh, click on everybody. I agree. It's a uh, then there are 
and use a license agreement for the third part software in all these Vitis, Vivido, DocNav, Model Composer, okay, and the Vitis Net P4. So, this is the you can see it will get that fault path slash two silence and I have checked by default is there create desktop shortcuts and the disk uses is 159.24 would be the final okay as even the Mr. Randall in one of the forms, forums he has said that whether it should be quoted by the AMD or the Xilinx you can see that since 19 from 1986 to 2022 Xilinx had the reserves of copyright and from 2022 to 2023 AMD advanced micro devices is in the possession of the copyright because it is acquired the Xilinx so let's go on, on the, uh, here and uh, since this directory I have deleted it it will be recreated by again and again the, this is the, everything is mentioned because this is the toolbox for Samulink and the MATLAB model Whitis model composer okay so I am installing it in parts after 2 or 50 minutes or so I would be again recording the second part thank you